Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I just finished my stream. I finished up Doki Doki Literature Club and it was all right. Like for a quick, roughly seven hour free game, I thought it was neat. I liked the creepy aspect to it. I thought it could have been more creepy and I hated how long this setup was. It was like a seven hour game in the first four hours or set up. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> but <laughs> it was all right. I'm not normally into visual novels, but I tried it anyway because I, I was interested in the creepy aspect of it. <laughs> now I'm probably going to get some food and then I fig I'm going to have to figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I never really planned out today. I was about to say my brain feels weird right now. And I thought, oh, is it the game? Did the game actually affect me? Because it's a psychological horror. So I'm like, did it affect me? But I think it's mainly because I had two big cups of coffee, like two 12 ounce cups. And so I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I partially have a coffee high, but I also have a coffee ick because all I ate was a Cliff Bar today. So I just need, I mean, I think I need some other food because I've just got pure coffee in my stomach right now. And I'm just cold. I feel like I'm freezing. Is the furnace not running? I don't know. <laughs> I might just put my robe on, on top. But my fingers are cold too. Like I'm sandwiching them between my legs right now. Brrr. Well, just my one hand. The other hand's only the camera. Actually, both hands are down there. I'm levitating the camera with my mind. Oh, the furnace just kicked in, so it's working. <laughs> oh yeah, I was considering maybe going on a walk today. I was thinking of that this morning. Cause I wanna get back to uh, working out in the mornings, but I was up kind of late last night dealing with video stuff. And then, so I slept in as long as I could this morning. I was like late for my stream, just finishing up my makeup on stream. I was like, ah. <laughs> Pokemon Go could be a motivation for me to actually go on walks, but then I feel like I'd find a good spot and just sit there, like, or just stop to catch a Pokemon and there'd be less walking involved and more just game playing. But man, Pokemon Go, I haven't played it in forever. I haven't even done a raid. I feel like the game has changed so much since when I initially played it that it's almost turning me off from playing it. I guess I could still just go catch Pokemon, but like gyms have totally changed. There's raids and there's like new items. It's so different now. All right, I'm gonna grab my Surface, throw on some Grey's Anatomy and make myself some food. So I sit down and have to those foot. If I put some pins here and maybe play What the guy needs is a whole new leg. Maybe I can do that. Cool. Looks delicious. So I decided I am gonna get out and about a little bit. Walk around. Yeah, I don't know. Just get out of the house, I guess. Get some exercise. I'm actually just gonna grab my Fitbit before I go out, but I don't remember where I put it because I just charged it. And then I put it back in its little sleeve. And I don't know where I set it. Ah! Oops. I might stop at the mall on my way back because I've been on the hunt for a pink purse for probably close to a year. I remember when I went to Arizona in the spring, I was keeping an eye out for pink purses and uh, I still haven't gotten one that I like so I'm very picky about how I want it to look and the shade of pink I want. But when I was walking past the coach store the other day, I forget why, like I was passing through or something so I couldn't stop, but I saw a purse that I thought I would maybe like, but I didn't get to see it up close. So I kind of want to take a closer look and see if I like it. I love my little backpack purse. I just want a non-backpack one. And I have other purses, but I just, I guess a lot of them are small and I want another everyday purse, but a non-backpack kind. And I can switch between this one and the pink one, pretty much. Oh God, the Fitbit's right there. Okay. <laughs> so I ended up going to the mall first because well, one, my hands were kind of cold. I needed to warm up and I just couldn't stop thinking about that purse. I was like, I need to check on it. And it was not what I wanted. Not even really close. And then I walked around the mall just to get in more steps and to look for other purses. And I found some that were close, but not what I want. So the search continues. I was also looking for pink hair donuts, like what I have in my hair right now. I have a blonde one and I want a pink one because my hair barely covers and little bits of it show through. So. I need a pink one, but I couldn't find any. But yeah, I've had my Pokemon Go Plus out this whole time, catching some Pokemon, and I'm gonna keep walking around. Also, to the person in Winners who whispered, I follow her on YouTube, I heard that. Okay, I checked my Pokemon list, and I actually caught way more than I thought I did. Like, this thing's been buzzing constantly, but 
when I looked before, there were only six. I think it didn't fully update because there's more like 30 that I got. That's what I like about the mall because there's more Pokemon in areas where there's more cellular activity. So there's a lot of Pokemon that spawn around here. I hopped into the bay while I was walking past. <laughs> uh, this is pretty much the size and shape I want, like something structured roughly this size, but I want it pink with, um, with gold hardware. There's a close one at the guest store, but not quite. And it has silver hardware. You're too small. Cry. These are super cute. And a little pink strap on top, but just a bit small. This is close. A little big though. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm at Le Chateau. That is so close, but it has silver hardware. That one's also slightly peachy. I prefer more pink. So I've been walking around for nearly two hours. I went to check my steps on my Fitbit, and it wasn't properly on or something. Well, first of all, my Fitbit battery was dead, so I had to like activate it, and now I have like no steps. <laughs> Rude. Also, I found pretty much the perfect purse, but it's at Michael Kors, so I'm like, do I want to spend that money? I want that purse. I'm looking at a few other places first. So I went back to Michael Kors and decided the purse was too plain and a little too peachy, like not pink enough. So I came home empty handed. I think I'm gonna try looking online. It's much faster than walking around a mall, but at least I got some exercise. I mean, the walking was the whole point of my outing. The purse hunting was just something extra. So since my Fitbit wasn't working most of that time, I checked my phone and it says I have over 11,000 steps, so yay! Also, I've been creeping on purses and I actually found one I like on Amazon. It's a bit plain, but I just love it so much. The color is a bit brighter than most of the peachy pink ones you see in store. At least it seems that way looking at the screen. It looks closer to a baby pink and it has a clamshell top, which I love because I hate purses where there's a little tab on the end that you have to pull on to zipper it shut. It's just really annoying, and I don't like ones that don't zipper at all. If it just has a button, I don't like it as much. Like the one I was scoping out at Michael Kors was like that. This one's just so cute. Like it has nice structure. I like the way it zips shut. It has the gold on it. It's about the right size. Like look at that, it's cute, huh? Yeah. And it's only 40 bucks, so that's pretty good for a purse. I made it up because I'm lonely and depressed and desperate for attention. You want a new intern? Crazy new intern. Crazy hot. No. The hot ones are the ones that cause trouble. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Kiki, you're a stage five clinger. It's sore too because it's up in a bun and you don't really realize until so you take it out and you're like, oh, sore scalp. That's how I give my hair volume. Oh, you actually want to attack it? Oh, are you feisty right here? Oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the camera screws into this. Uh, I kind of miss the days where I just tape a little point and shoot to my alt light and <laughs> that was it. <laughs> sure, that's an okay spot, I guess. I'm gonna push this up though.